Smash those reds holding you back from going for your dreams. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later because I did mention something in a different vlog like two days ago that I'm probably going to combine because it was only like one to two minutes. And I need to do this quickly because, um, turns out, I don't know exactly what I have to be honest because I am. So, I'm going to try my best to explain this to the best of my ability. Um, so I will say I did have COVID, um, but that was like almost two months ago. Sorry, weird, I'm not kidding, weird things happen in my, in my house sometimes. Um, anyways, so it was about end of July, early August, so not even two months, but about like almost two months ago. No, wait, it w oh my gosh, it was exactly two months ago, holy moly. Okay, so... My mom got it first, and then, um, she got it on, okay, so she got it July 30th, but she tested Monday, so she did test positive for it Monday. She did do better than I, me, um, but there's probably more than one reason for that, and so I actually ended up feeling it more Sunday, and for the entire week, I had muscle aches. Like, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't exercise. I couldn't take my dog out. I literally did not walk him for an entire week straight, and I hated that because I'm trying to stay active and keep up with that's my activity level. I didn't even exercise. Um, I was doing a little bit better by one, not by Wednesday. I was kind of like, I was doing a little better by Wednesday, but not too much better. Um, my mom was definitely doing a little better by Wednesday. She was doing better by Wednesday, Thursday. She, um, I think it might have been Wednesday when I called my doctor. I don't remember when, but I literally, like, I'm still having a little bit of issues on and off with my throat right now. Um, and so, what is it? I literally couldn't talk, though. Like, my voice was so bad when I first had COVID that I could not talk, like, it was just bad. Like, it seemed like I was about to lose my voice. Like, and then with that, um, at one point I did have, we both had coughs. My mom and I basically had similar symptoms, but she did better than I did. Um, and I, we were both responsible. We both isolated. We both quarantined. Um, I actually was a little more responsible and I isolated for at least, or tried my best to isolate for two weeks. I did go out with masks on and stuff if I had to go grab something for quickly or like because there was not much you could do to be honest like when it's just two people so it's like mm, yeah I can to be honest like I have a little bit of trust issues with like someone else knowing my pins and stuff in terms of cards so it's like no um but we were responsible with masks and stuff like that and I really went out I only went out like once or twice and with Target for example I did their curbside pickup and I had a mask with me too. Um, so there's that. Because I knew I wasn't going to wear it that long. So yeah. That was my experience. It was just mostly muscle aches. Sore throat. Couldn't really talk. Um, so I know I'm still having a little bit of after effects probably from that. But then as I'm looking stuff up. There's a chance I might have bronchitis. And I learned that antibiotics don't help it. Um, it's only. It, I think it can only help if it's through a bacterial infection but not caused by viral infection so who knows what happened first i don't know if i ended up having bronchitis first and then covid ended up on top of that or vice versa because i've actually had pneumonia twice in the past before and i remember one thing that my doctor prescribed me and i was able to use it both times was an inhaler which actually helped me a lot to be honest and um, I was actually surprised. Apparently, I didn't know that he, I was prescribed the z pack which is uh, an antibiotic, which I think did help me a little bit during the time that I had COVID. Um, but I was also drinking herbal tea, trying my best. Oh, I did have a loss of appetite. So that's what I'm going to get on, because I just uploaded a video of the apple cider vinegar keto thing. I'm not doing that, only because what happened is when I had COVID, I actually lost quite a bit of weight. Um... That wasn't my intention. Do not get... Okay. Whatever you do, do not try to intentionally get COVID. Okay? Do not try to intentionally get it because it's not something you want ever. 
My mom said that it just felt like the flu. For me, it didn't feel like the flu, but then again, I haven't had the flu in forever, so I don't even know what, to be honest, I don't even know what the flu feels like anymore, because I haven't had it for, like, how many years now? Oh my gosh. Sorry, now I need to think this through. Yeah, 12 years. Wait, has it really? No, not 12. It's been more than 12. I'm like, why would I? Sorry, I'll be right back. Okay, turns out I was actually right. I was spot on. It has been 12 years since I last had the flu. So like I said, then again, I don't know what it feels like anymore. So my mom believes that you can get muscle aches with the flu. Um, I did. Um, to be honest, I did try airborne. It just made me spit. Like, literally, no matter what I tried to eat or drink, my body would just make me spit it out. And I will put a disclaimer about grossness. I'll do a gross alert, just in case of those who might have a weak stomach. Um, all I'm talking about is phlegm and spit, and that's it. And it's like, to be honest, some days are wor better than others. Others are, like, worse. But, like, as I'm looking stuff up, because I'm, like, even during when I had COVID, because I've never had this feeling in my chest ever before in my entire life, where my heart felt cold. And I never understood that. Thankfully, I'm fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm fine. And I'm, I promise I'm not trying to cry. I've just had a lot going on as well. Different things going on. Um, so that's why I also, that's another reason why I was lagging in videos. So my original thing is I've been studying like crazy for real estate. Um, and then I had COVID. <laughs> so there is that. And then I have just like, I've been busy with other stuff. So those are the main two things as to why I haven't caught up on my vlogs and why I haven't done YouTube. I like caught up on my videos and stuff. And I do, once my throat's like 100% better, because right now, I probably should be, I probably shouldn't even be vlogging right now, to be honest. But I don't want to, like, write everything out and do, like, a card thing. Because that's just going to take too much time. And it's just, like, I'd rather talk it, even if it makes my throat worse. But then I can also make my throat better later on. So now I'm, like, looking stuff up. Because this, like, the cold feeling in my chest slash, so the cold feeling in my chest slash heart um, is a come and go type of thing. It's very weird. It just, like... And the way it was described was, like, why does my, like, what I looked up was, like, there was this one thing that said, why does my heart have an icy, cold feeling sometimes? And there was, like, five different things, if not more than five different things, that it could be. And yes, anxiety can cause it, but the thing is, I've had anxiety before without that, like, ever. I've Like, I know what anxiety is, and for me, I normally have heart palpitations, with anxiety, I never have a cold. Like, my heart never feels cold. Like, my chest and heart area never, ever feels cold the way it does. And I know that's definitely probably... I don't know. I don't want to say it's something you're in effect of COVID, but, like, yeah. So, sorry. I, like, even, like, trust me, even if I didn't have anything lingering at all, I would still... I talk a lot, so, like, I need to be through that. So, I promise I'm not having a shortness of breath at all. So, like... I apologize if it looks like that. Um, I don't have that. It just more of like just phlegm and just like a cold feeling on and off in my chest, like around the heart area. Um, but yes, anxiety and things like that, like worriness, worrisomeness, not worrisomeness. That I don't think that's even a word. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm like I'm. I don't want to say I'm half asleep, but I'm kind of half asleep because I'm like I'm tired because I woke up early this morning to take my dog out. Because he just was not feeling well yesterday, and apparently there's a such thing that you can walk your dog too much. Anyways, sorry, back to the whole COVID thing. So, there was that now as I'm looking this up, I'm like, apparently, I there's a chance I could have acute bronchitis with how much phlegm that I've been having lately. Like, the amount of phlegm, like, thankfully today's not as bad, but yesterday was so bad. Like, I'm like, that can't be our normal amount. And yes, so another gross alert. <laughs> Just putting that out there. <laughs> so, um, I've been having so much that I would usually have to get up like every few minutes just to go spit in the bathroom. And I was like, why not just use a cup? 
So I've been having to like spit in a cup so I don't have to get up like every three to five minutes just to go spit. And it's driving me nuts to be honest. And so yesterday when I spat in the cup, I'm like, this cannot be a normal amount of phlegm. And as I'm taking a look to, in the back of my throat, I'm like, yep, my uvula is swollen. And the main things apparently that can cause that is bronchitis and pneumonia. But then apparently pneumonia, like no, anything can cause pneumonia to be honest. And if bronchitis isn't treated properly, pneumonia can become a result of bronchitis. Um, I did try, oh my gosh, I tried verbitizing for the first time a couple days ago. That thing was so, and I tried the honey flavor because I thought it was going to be good, but it was like so, so flippin' sour to me. Like, uh, it was so sour. The aftertaste was fine. But when I first took it, the original taste, it was strong and sour. Liquid medicine does not usually taste sour to me. Then again, I haven't used liquid medicine in like forever. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to point out with my experiences. Like I said, I probably shouldn't even be talking right now because I know like not talking can help. Um, and I'm trying to like, I'm... I love Starbucks, but to be honest, not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed because then again, that was my fault for adding a sauce to it. So, because they're like, I got their iced pumpkin spice latte. All right, I'm back. Sorry about earlier, my phone totally cut out of me. So, I was trying to explain that I was again a little disappointed in Starbucks pumpkin spice latte this time, but like I said, that was probably my fault for adding syrup to it. Um, and I know I was talking about my throat and stuff and trying to get like better, and like, probably not, it's probably not the best for me to be vlogging right now. Um, but I just wanted to point out what I have. So what I ended up getting was a Grande Ice Pumpkin Spice Latte with just one shot of espresso. And then I also, it has, um, the white chocolate mocha sauce in it. And instead of whipped cream, I did the vanilla sweet cream cold foam. I know I could have done the pumpkin cream cold foam. Um, but I thought that might have been too much pumpkin flavor. I could have sworn I was going to taste more pumpkin than what I did taste, but I probably let the coffee melt a little so yeah so um i do like i i actually really really do want to start adding music to my vlogs and stuff not to my vlogs i do want to start adding music to my channel in general but the thing is with my throat right now and the fact not the fact that there's a slight possibility i don't know if i do or not but there is a chance i could have bronchitis with how much foam that i've been having to be honest um and so with that i am trying to do what's best for my vocal health i know i probably need to be on vocal rest but I just didn't want to like do the whole like writing out cards thing to film because that would just be boring for everyone that's boring for me that takes up too much time that'll probably be boring for you guys too to like read everything I don't think you guys want to read especially now that school is back in session for most kids right now and you already have to read in school um so I'm like you probably don't want to read on a vlog to be honest unless you absolutely have to um Unless I'm making like a disclaimer, that's literally the only thing you have to read is like disclaimers that I make in advance or like that I add to these videos. So, anyways, I am gonna go do my course and continue that and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye. Crash, 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 the bridge on over the bravery.